Hi, I'm Chuck Will, PGA Director of Instruction for the Chuck Will Golf Academy, located here at Dulles Golf Center and Sports Park in Dulles, Virginia. Today we're going to talk about some of the common questions we get from our students, some of the similar mistakes that we see time and time again. Okay. One of the big ones we get to, in addition to the setup, which we just went over, um, what's the correct takeaway? How do I stop taking it inside? Is this outside too much? The big thing we see when a student takes the club inside too much, where the club is actually behind the body at this point rather than on the line on the toes, usually they've either rolled that left arm too much and that's opened the club face, and now the club is actually too shallow or too flat of a swing plane for that particular club, causing you to have to lift it to the top. The other way that we see this to the inside too much is they'll take it back pretty good, and then that right hand will bend back, actually bowing the left wrist and getting the club to the inside. Either one is going to make you lift the club to the top and try to get the club coming down correctly. And you end up with an up and over pattern. The other one we see is taking the club outside too much. A lot of times people are doing this in an effort to stop doing that. So what they end up doing is the arms separate from the chest or they just pick the club outside on the takeaway. What we want to do is keep the arms connected to the chest. We want to start the arms and the body in sync. So you want that left arm, your left shoulder to turn together and that club will come right in so it's on the line on your toes at waist high, right off the ball of my right foot. Okay, my left arm, my shoulders are rotating perpendicular to my spine, my left arm is riding on my chest. And you notice that club face is just gradually starting to open up a little bit. Some people think that on the takeaway that's actually closed. That's actually square to the arc if the right hand is not, or the right arm is not part of the fold at that point. So what we're looking for is left arm and shoulder rotating together as you continue back, that right arm will fold and that will tend to set the club right on plane. So once you get a good takeaway, the rest of the golf swing, the chain reaction. So if you don't start it back right, you're going to have trouble the rest of the swing. And that should help you out a lot. Thank you.